Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World where we are taking a look at Les Chazets or if you're from the United States Les Chazets. <laughs> um, this is a brand new map by SO Modding Quadrant 3300 and the LS Mod Team France. On this map you will find a French style environment, one farm for cows, sheep and chickens, a farm for pigs, a farm for cereals, about 60 fields, five selling points, a cattle market, a sawmill, car traffic, pedestrians, a spinning mill, one supermarket for milk and eggs, a biogas system. It is seasons ready and it does support the manure system. The mod authors wish you a pleasant moments on this mythical map for years and representing the beautiful French landscapes. And I kind of get the feeling that this does have beautiful French landscapes, and we're going to find all of that out here in just a few minutes. This is our starting farmyard right here. This is our farmhouse. If all farmhouses in France look like this, I think I need to move to France. But there is a sleep trigger here. You can't go inside, but there is a sleep trigger. Now, before we get started on the map, I'd just like to take a look around and... Uh, or in our menu actually and get a feel for what we're what we're looking at so it's a small map standard size lots and lots of fields lots of them um, our starting farm on on new farmer we've got a very big holding right here we've got field one here field 16 and field 18 these are small um, field one is an acre and a half uh, 16 is not quite two acres and 18 is a little over two, but our main barnyard, our main farm is almost 15 acres, just over 14 acres. So I'm sure there's plenty that you can do with this area. There's a lot of open space. If it's just mowing grass for hay or whatever you want to do, make some silage, sell it to the biogas plant. That's totally up to you, obviously, but that's where we start at. Now, we do have standard crops on this map. There's nothing new. Um, just everything you would expect to see on a map is available at Le Chazet. Animals also, standard animals, no, no new animals in, included on this map. And one last thing I did want to take a look at was lands. We do need to look at lands. Now, I think the lands are pretty reasonably priced. These are small to medium fields. I think the largest field I could find was field 35 at about 11 acres. And I would call that a medium, a small medium field. Yeah, that's nine, nine, nine. So yeah, we're averaging anywhere from maybe five to nine acres with 35 being the biggest at 11. But even still, these are pretty reasonably priced, you know, four and a half acres, 113,000. They're a little bit spendy, but not terribly overpriced. Um, the biogas plant will run you $184,416 if you want to buy the biogas plant. That's always your decision. I personally think that should come with the map, but as most people in this world would tell me, you don't always get your way. <laughs> so, let's take a look at what we start with as a new farmer. In our garage, we have got a massy, small Massey Ferguson, 105 horsepower, the 5610. We've got the Fent favorite, everybody knows and loves, at 115 horsepower. We've got the ever popular Case 7210 Pro very popular medium tractor just because of its price point and the amount of horsepower you get this will bump up to about 261 i think it is we've got the small new holland tx32 harvester we do get to start with a pickup truck small trailer standard header corn header the 2.5 meter agro mash plow the rao polymag three meter cultivator the amazon cedar Cavernland planter, a Kuhn fertilizer spreader. We do have a mower, we've got a tether, and we've got a rake. Looks like they're expecting us to make plenty of hay. Um, and a baler. Now that's nice. Starting with a baler is pretty nice, actually. And, um, and a bale trailer. We also get a um, 
TMR mixer, a bale shredder for straw, we've got a water tank, we've got a leveler for silage, and we have a header trailer. So, we, so we're starting with plenty of equipment. If I was starting out on this map, I would probably do some mix and match type stuff, sell some off, buy something different, but um, they do give you a really good selection to start with. And another nice thing now on our starting farm here, lots of storage. I mean, this is the storage shed. We've got a storage shed over here. And then if we start walking in this direction, you know, we're looking at our sheep pen basically, but all of this is storage here too. And all of these are working doors, which is really cool. I mean, just every door works. Now for our, this is our sheep pasture here. And this is clearly the food trough, but I had, I had, I struggled finding the, uh, the animal, oh, here, the animal dialogue is here at this gate. We're just throw a few sheep in here. And we can see they, they'll just wander all over this entire area. So this is seasons ready. So all of this grass would become food for them, which is really nice. Um, this also supports the animal pen extension. So you can put in the the water valve to fill up your water troughs that's always a very nice thing so and one of the things that i did notice when i was first looking at this was um no on our animals now we do have a cattle pasture to use and we do have a chicken coop to use but they're not showing up here and they won't until you put animals in them so just keep that in mind um, lots of light switches around too and one of the nice things about these light switches is they put a little they've put a little night light in so they're not they're not hard to or they're not they've put a little night light in them so they're easy to find so that's a nice feature also and just looking around the farmyard just a little bit more before we go on our merry way we've got plenty of storage here it looks like they expect seed and fertilizer in this now none of this stuff is movable or sellable it's all permanently placed again we've got another light switch very well lit you do have a shop automatically where you can bring your equipment and vehicles in and repair them right here that's always nice to have on the farm a couple of very large bunker silos they really are expecting you to make a lot of silage on this map i think anticipating that anyway but those are those are really nice i mean you could what probably a couple million liters of silage in each one of those at least now, even these uh sliding doors and this is our cattle barn here a very nice cattle barn well detailed great textures everything about it is very very good and we've got lighting in here too we wouldn't want the cattle to be afraid of the dark would we bunch more storage here they've already got the piping put in place for the slurry pit if you're using the manure system and right here is our cow animal dialogue this is where we would bring our cows to put them into the pen and let's just throw a few cows in here this was particularly interesting at least i thought so so you can put the cows in the pen, but now they're out wandering in this massive pasture. They're just all over the place. Just doing their thing. Again, um, animal pen extension enabled. And no collisions on the fences. That's good to know. I don't know if we own this or not. Do we own this? That looks like we do. So even more storage down here, although this kind of looks like a shop also, but it's not just storage. So anyway, as I was saying, you see these, these cows are just wandering all over this pasture. 
which is it's a really nice feature in my opinion I like it when I like it when the animals um, are out and about a little bit more not for any altruistic reason or anything just because I think it looks a little more natural I like that I like that a lot in fact that leads me to our chicken pen and our header trailer is parked in our chicken animal dialogue but let's get some chickens in there and we'll grab a couple roosters not that we need them but now these chickens are just gonna wander all over the barnyard all over the farm they're just kind of spread out everywhere and that's pretty outstanding so yeah, so far Le Chazay is has been impressive and we're not even off the starting farm yet. So let's look at our map. And there are a few areas that I'd like to hit and maybe we'll just do a flyover. But all of the uh, farms, and there's two others, have fuel points on them. So you can buy gas right at your own farm. And there is a silo here worth about, I believe it was 100,000. Yeah, 100,000, and you got some starting crop in there. But yeah, 100,000 you get to start with. Now, I haven't done any drive around on this yet. So let's just get out and see what we've got. Now, I kind of expected to be driving on the left side. Do they drive on the right-hand side of the street in France? I don't know. But, yeah, this is, this is really, really gorgeous countryside. The map makers have done a brilliant job. The rolling hills here are fabulous. Very, very nice indeed. An awful lot of shrubbery on the sides of the road. Now, I don't know if they were attempting to simulate hedgerows or if that was just something they chose to include. But it does look very nice. Now, this is another one of the starting farms that you can purchase if you would like. Again, this beautiful scenery through here. And there's even better when we get into the town, so... This looks like the pig farm, actually. If you bought this, you would have access to a... Yep, that's definitely a pig enclosure. If you're into pigs. And it looks like a very, very large tank for slurry. Now, everything in here is is pretty standard um, what you would expect to see on a farming simulator map but it is extremely well done so far the roads are smooth I haven't seen any major you know sometimes you'll see like a crease or something that really throws off driving but here everything seems to be very very nice and smooth As we roll past our farm right here on the right, we start coming into a little village area, and that's that's well done too. Lots of unique, different types of houses. And moving along a little bit more, a little bit faster, there is a, a village here, which is beautiful. It's absolutely outstanding. But here we're coming into an industrial area this would be our shop right here on the left. Apparently they really like their New Holland, but standard shop, repair, purchase, all of that traditional fun stuff that you do at your friendly neighborhood agricultural store. Oh, don't hit that guy. But yeah, the village here is just, it's really well laid out. 
you know, there's not anything that I would say is a drawback. Now look at the scenery right here on the right. We've got this fantastic mill. I believe that's a mill. And then this great stone bridge right here. Electrical plant on the left. Just really nice attention to detail. And I love old stone bridges like this. How, did I, how would I get to that mill now? Maybe they've chosen to use these these bush weeds for lack of a better word yeah look at that that is beautiful whoever made this map really knew what they were doing that is some outstanding scenery right there in fact i might just come back here to grab a screenshot for that um but maybe they use these bushes instead of hedgerows so that they would um, be able to avoid collisions because with not having collisions on these bushes, that means you can bring in bigger equipment. You just have to be able to get it down the road first. Now, there is a train track here, um, but apparently no trains are operating here in France. Because I have yet to see a train. But that is a beautiful train tunnel down there. Out absolutely fabulous. Here on the right is your biogas plant. Good sized biogas plant. Um, pretty standard, exactly what you would expect from a biogas plant. You, uh, you can weigh in, which is always fun. But one large bunker silo, one smaller bunker silo. You know, if you don't start on the main farm, you can always utilize these. And of course, you'll be able to retrieve your digestate here. This is the tip end point right here for your silage or whatever you're selling to the BGA. And then, where is the fill point for digestate? Because I don't see it. Well, we'll just say that's something that. I'll leave t for you to explore. How about that? <laughs> we'll leave it at that. And the rolling hills here on the left, you know, just very nice attention to detail. I really appreciate when mob makers and map makers, I guess they're sometimes one and the same, but not quite, um, go the extra mile and look at every square inch of whatever it is that they're producing and make sure that they've covered every possible detail i mean why wouldn't you if you're going to put that much effort into it why wouldn't you make sure that it's the best it can absolutely be that looks like we're in an industrial section here's our animal dealer on the left we know because we've got the traditional farming simulator bull or cow standing out there. We've got a cell point right here. Which one is this? I don't know, but it's a very impressive industrial facility. Very impressive. And it looks like it's still under construction, at least some parts of it. Although somebody decided to build a house right next to it. I don't envy them living here. I really don't. So what is this one? Uh, we, oh, that's the sugar factory. Oh, I really don't envy them living next to a sugar factory. Let me tell you. So I lived in Idaho for about, oh, 14 years or so. I lived in Boise, southwest Idaho. And about 20 miles to the west is a town called Nampa. And in Nampa, there is a company called Amalgamated Sugar. Now, I have nothing against Amalgamated Sugar. They make fine products, yada, yada. But they process sugar beets to make their sugar. And after fall harvest, they've got several football fields stacked about 30 feet high with beets. And they start processing those beets, and you can smell the stink of it all the way to Boise and beyond 
it smells awful. It's one of the worst smells in the world. So don't ever build your house next to a sugar beet factory. But again, I'm stopping on this bridge because I love these bridges, but look at the scenery here. How gorgeous is that? Just absolutely, unquestionably a beautiful scene. And we can roll into downtown here. It's just, it's very well laid out. It's got nice storefronts. You know, there's a st like a bank right here on the corner. Where should a bank be? Always. Banks are always on corners. You can almost count on it. This church is fabulous. Absolutely outstanding. The details on these models are very, very, very good. We've got a soccer field here if you're into such things. I guess we could play, what is it? Farming soccer, FS19, farm soccer. Here it looks like we've got our sawmill tucked back in here along the river, just where a sawmill should be. Looks like your lumber cell point would be right back there. And we'll just run right back through town again, make a couple more quick stops and then Maybe do a flyover and call it a day, but I think you get the point. This is a very nice map, and I would recommend it to anybody. In fact, on the Harv's World World Tour, if somebody ever recommends I go to France, I might just have to give this map a shot. Now, I wish it did have a few extra, um, you know, a few additional crops, maybe a unique animal or two, but... It's not a complaint. That would just be, you know, me saying, well, it'd be nice to learn a little something new, but I would gladly play on this map. It's beautiful. Absolutely outstanding. Base game. Oh, there's a dirt road. I've got to go see where the dirt road. <laughs> uh, sorry, French person. I didn't mean to run into you very much anyway <laughs> you always have to follow the dirt road right always this is actually bringing us back around to the back side of our farm so if I took this up to the right that's our farm right there I want to go explore back here just a little bit. Then I think I'll abandon this truck and we will um, get a bird's eye view of what's going on out here. Oh, this brings us right onto the railroad track. Let's see what's down at the end of the railroad track. There's no trains. I promise you there's no trains, so we're not going to get run over. Although, there's electric cable up there, so I think if trains do run, it's probably going to be almost like passenger service. Hey, this truck is pretty tough. <laughs> now, one thing I'm not seeing much of at the moment is forestry. Not Now, we do have a sawmill, but I, I'm getting the impression... And let me, when we do the flyover, we'll look specifically for forestry, but I haven't seen much in the way of that. And frankly, um, you know, doing my off the grid series, there's so much forestry involved that, uh, that I'm not looking for another forestry map for a good long while. I've got plenty of forestry ahead of me as it stands. Where's a street we can get out of here? There we go. I do like the fact that there's, you know, pedestrian traffic here, lots of car traffic. It just gives a nice feel. This garden shop, I'm just going to keep backing into people. That's all I can do. I have to. It's like a rule. 
we hadn't gone this way through town. But this garden shop is very, very nice, well laid out. It's a a beautiful sell point. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Um, this Ledley store on the right, I think it's a store. This is also a sale point. I'm sure if you live in Europe, you know exactly what Ledley is, but it's not something we have here in the States. And let's cruise, because I think I want to go look back here in this far corner. I think and then we'll ab abandon the truck in the far corner and uh oh so this is another like agricultural sale point looks like grains and such yeah that's a nice big grain elevator as i keep crashing into things and it looks like there might be i'm almost sure of it there's a lime point back here where you can pick up lime if you want to because it's almost yeah, this would be your fill point here, probably under this tower, and then your drop point right here. Which these provide challenges for tippers. You can't use very big tippers under these sometimes. So you might want a pusher trailer instead of a tipper trailer. Okay. And now I actually see... Yeah, I know. You gotta save my content. It's important. Um, lands. So there's some forestry there. And we'll we'll scout out some of these other little areas around here and see exactly um, what there is. Let's cover some more ground, shall we? So yeah, that's a nice forestry area there. And this, there's that mill. That's what I was looking for. Oh, that's a, that's a different mill. Look look how fabulous that is. How gorgeous is that scenery right there? Truly a beautiful map to play on. You know, bird's eye view of town. How pretty is that? Kudos to you, map makers. I think you've done an exceptionally good job here. This is a very, very nice map as I grab a screenshot for the thumbnail. But heading north through here, that's our farm on the left. We've got another small village right here. Grain elevator. This church is outstanding. Everything is outstanding. This is another one of the starting farms. You could start out up here if you want to. Now this looks like a small fort, potentially a small forestry area right here. I love the fact that there's a river running through here and there's all of these bridges. There's great bridges for vehicles. There's amazing railroad bridges. I mean, look at that. That's just, just incredible. Absolutely beautiful. I know I'm gushing, but I'm really, really genuinely impressed. I hadn't had a chance to look at this much before I started the video. And what I've seen, if this is what you get going to France, then sign me up because I'm going to France. I don't envy the farmers who have the big electrical poles in the middle of their fields, though. So, I think that's going to do it for Les Chazets. Or less Chazits, depending on where you're from. It's a beautiful map. I strongly recommend it. Um, just based on looks alone, I would say it's completely worth playing. The map makers have done an exceptionally good job. Now, are there going to be errors that you find during your play? It's a first release, so there probably are. But you know what? The way these guys have paid attention to detail tell me that you're probably not going to find many. So that's my first look map tour of Les Chazet. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. If you found this helpful in any way, do me a favor. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. And until next time, y'all take care.